Bizarre Brain Comics. Hello, my comic book friends, and welcome to Bizarre Brain Comics. I am Gary, your host. And this is where I like to take a look at some older comics, talk a little bit about the characters and creators, and examine the stories and the art. This time, I want to go back, and we're going to take a look at issues 12 and 13 of Legends of the DC Universe, featuring the Justice League of America in a story, two-part story called Critical Mass. And, uh, My brain just skipped. And this is a two-part storyline. It's from 1998. The cover date is January and February 99, which means that it would have been uh, October, November when it was of 98 when it hit the stands. Okay, and uh, here's the title of... Uh, Legends of the DC Universe, and this features Justice League. Um, it's a title that ran from DC Comics from 1998 uh, to 2001, with a total of 41 issues. It was an ongoing series from, uh, well, as I said, from, from DC from 98 to 01, and it featured a rotating cast of characters and creators intended to fill in gaps of DC Universe history. They had some great covers. This is, uh, and this story is written by Christopher Priest, with pencils by Ken Lasky, and inks by Ron Boyd. And as I said, they had some really good covers. I look in my research, I was looking through them there. And I have, I have a, a few other issues of this of this title now one of the interesting things one of the things i like about it now i i didn't get it much at the time and uh mostly gotten it since then but the thing the things i like about it is that it's a self-contained story taking place in one two or three issues but it's you get those and you get the whole story you don't have to they're self-contained you don't have to Go back years of <laughs> of reading and to read, you know, to you can jump right in at, at almost any point. And it's probably a good jumping off point for some of the characters that the, that they they cover. Now here is is featuring the Justice League of America, and it's and it has Justice League as uh, uh, early on in their in their union. with lots of adventures. Now, what does make this a little little difficult to read is the the jumping around that takes place. It's a nice artwork. I, I love this, this cover. I really love this cover. I'm not as thrilled with this cover. But the whole series had, uh, had uh, uh, some really nice, nice covers. And so we open up, and it says "Critical Mass Stage 5. It's it's told in stages, and it keeps jumping jumping around. <laughs> so we get Stage One later. But we see what this is a good way to grab your grab your interest and make you want to read it, though. Critical Mass One through Five, and we see the Justice League members are giant, and they're crashing, smashing in the in the city. It happens to be in New York. And they don't know what's going on. They're they're getting uh, their powers aren't working right. They can't focus. Uh, they're they trying to figure out why they're suddenly so so gigantic, and they're getting bigger. And they're having difficulty thinking and they realize that they're they are a, they can't really get out of the city because, without causing more damage. They're trying to avoid uh, damage uh, uh, to the uh, to the people. And I like this. Uh, Hawkman take off because his nth metal still negates his his uh, his mass his weight, but he winds up causing damage and they're, they're trying to save people. 
here uh, with uh, uh, aircraft and stuff flying around and trying to with all the the wind winds and stuff trying to keep stuff from bad stuff from happening and then but we see Adam he was also one of them but he has been able to because of his uh, size changing powers he has been able to contain uh, maintain uh, a normal normal uh, size but he doesn't know how much longer it'll work then Aquaman is really having problems because he's out of water and he collapses causes a lot of damage and they got to get him out out of there and uh, and so then we go we flash back to where this stuff all started years before shortly after the Justice League see some really nice artwork and I was like especially a great perspective on that on that cityscape um, <clears throat> uh, flashing back to uh, uh, years before with Shortly after the Justice League f or first originally formed, and uh, um, Oliver Queen, Green Arrow, is uh, ha having them at a, uh, this is when he was still rich, having a fundraiser featuring them to raise money for charity. And, uh, but like people like Superman are all scooping things out, making sure bad stuff doesn't happen, you know, along with, with Speedy. And, uh, Turns out, bad stuff is going to happen. Bruce Wayne is there, but they remember. At this time, he, he's not a member of the Justice League, and Oliver Queen doesn't know he's Batman. But he had brought, and specifically invited Wayne, because he wants him to help. Uh, uh, Oliver Queen is having a little problems with money and stuff. This is, I guess, shortly before he loses his fortune. And uh, wants to bring Wayne in to help finance the Justice League. And... Uh, while this is going on, this guy, ooh, he's called Pack Rat. We find out he's Pack Rat. He has shrunk down uh, little goons, brings them out. They try to, ha! They're not just going to rob the place. He's he's a Pack Rat. He collects things, and he has weird technology cobbled from all over the place. So and so he just just steps out, makes a threat, and boom, Flash takes him out. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> Before anything else can happen. Everything's okay, Superman. But then you're wondering, what, where did Wayne go? Well, he turned into Batman, and he's checking out the Arrow Cave under the under the mansion. And uh, and then, uh, but they found out, oh, the guy's not just Pack Rat's not. That's technology isn't just it. Uh, Kablooey. He has other powers from some technology embedded in his body. Causes causes havoc he gets he gets away batman follows him he's going to put a shrink bomb on uh, the um, the jet that's supposed to take the jla back because he wants to collect shrunken versions of the of the justice league i'm going to shrink them all down batman puts the kibosh on him whack <laughs> and things are saved yada yada that that's where that goes then there then later years later ollie just returning from a monastery have, he's not rich anymore, has his head shaved, he no longer wants to do the superhero thing, and his friend uh, Green Lantern stops in to say, Howdy! Then, something happens. This monster thing comes uh, crushing, uh, crushing through the street, and the Justice League are there to help save the day, and all he can do is yell, Thorak! And as uh, uh, a firestar, firestorm is about to attack him, blasts out, and firestorm seems to be gone. Ooh, jail. Then he uh, uh, tries to imprison him, and thing happens again. And then we see, oop, oop. This is when they start getting big. Dun dun dun. It's the end of that that first part. Now, I don't like this cover nearly as well. So here we go, stage three. We get now we see some background. Thoraclemidine, whatever that is, that's where the thorac comes from. Uh, some some uh, group, uh, uh, it's a the locust group using alien technology to remake their bodies to survive a global apocalypse. But some of them it doesn't work right, and this is one of them. He was there. 
the fa their failures, uh, well, their failures, and uh, kept in storage. Here we are. They're trying to get Aquaman to the, <laughs> to the ocean, and Superman shows up, and he helps take care of of uh, Aquaman. And then get a rehash of what happened before. Uh, Ray Palmer. Ooh. And anyway, turns out that uh, what's his name? Uh, Snapper Carr. He is right there, and he becomes instrumental. Because uh, I'm running a little late. Uh, he becomes instrumental. Uh, he gets G, uh, uh, Green Arrow to uh, uh, to help. Uh, they go. The f he figures. He makes the connections. Figures out it's uh, some similar to this guy, uh, the Pack Rat. They go question him. Then they go and uh, get Batman, uh, who's in disguise as a homeless guy, and uh, and uh, Adam goes inside the thorax body because he finds out that he's not. He's not doing this intentionally. It's against his will. While they're traveling around to talk about the, the shrink bomb, they go find the remains of the old old airplane that was crashed, find the shrink bomb, yada, yada, yada. Superman's punching, so it's no good. And Snapper Carr winds up being the, actually being the big hero of the thing. Snapper Carr was the, originally their teenage um, 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 sidekick uh, when the Justice League first first appeared. And uh, he's been on, they've been uh, estranged for many years. But he winds up helping. Uh, they come up with a convoluted way. Just suffice to know that they heroically save the Justice League. And Snapper Car is instrumental. And that uh, comes up with the idea of the uh, of using Green Lantern's uh, ring to... Uh, to help, and they are all saved. And Snapper Car and G, uh, Green Arrow, they both kind of just want to slip away silently, quietly. And that's all. Some nice artwork. I think it's, even though it gets kind of convoluted, it's a well, pretty well told story. Dif different, difficult to keep track of what's going on because it's told out of order. But I like it. And uh, I think it's a good. Uh, in spite of all it's good good story it has some tongue in cheek stuff it's 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 kind of funny because it's over some of the stuff is over the top but it's a fun book some really great artwork uh and good visual storytelling and uh or some really great uh background jobs with uh with the the cityscapes and the like so that's what i've got for you this time and i hope you like like this storyline uh Please like, share, and subscribe, and do leave a comment in the comments below. Uh, what do you think of the, this cover versus that cover, uh, or any of the other stuff? Just ask me any questions. I'll see if I can tell you some answers. Thank you, and remember, ooh, 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 comics are art.